All right. Well, what we're going to show you today is how to prepare your axles to uh, be ready to race. Um, we are going to show you how to deburr the axle, uh, remove the crimp marks, straighten the axle, and get it ready for racing along with sanding to the point where it's ready to be put on the car. Okay. So what we're using today is a lathe. It's a small lathe, micro lathe is what they're called. Uh, we're going to turn it at about 1500 RPMs to deburr it using this Swiss file. It has a non-cutting edge on both the both thin sides. The only edge that cuts are the thicker flat sides. Uh, and it's a Swiss clockmaker's file. Um, we're going to start off 1500 RPMs. I'm going to start removing the crimp marks on the shaft and then I will go ahead and remove the burr on the nail head itself. So right now I'm going back and forth and I, I want to move it side to side some so that you don't end up taking off a bunch in one spot and then you have a bump or a groove in your axle. So I go back and forth, takes a little while and once I see that I don't see any more crimp mark on it, which I don't now, I'm going to turn it so that the big flat side is up against the nail head and the non-cutting side is touching the shaft. And then I'm going to square it up and slowly remove the burr that is on the axle head. It takes a little bit of time, uh, and then I'm going to switch back to filing the shaft so that I can get it nice and square to the, the nail head. And then once I got that pretty square, I'll go back to the nail head and square it up. I'll finish off going side to side. Uh, I'm going to remove the nail from the or the axle from the, the lathe, and then I'm going to straighten the axle. Uh, it's deburred, and there's no crimp marks on the shaft. If you look at the nail head of any of the axles, you can see that there are four flat surfaces on that. So I'm going to use that along with this um, snail or axle straightening tool that you can find uh, for Pinewood Derby cars. I'm going to go ahead and put it in there and now I'm going to put it with one of those faces facing up to me. Only so that I know every time I do a quarter turn that it's turned a quarter because I'm going to go by those faces on there. I'm going to tap it with the hammer two to three times, rotate it a quarter turn, and do it again. So that's once, twice, that's three, four times and I'm just going to randomly twist it and do a fifth. Notice I didn't slam it too hard. Um, if you do you will end up flattening the shaft of the axle and not keeping it round and straight. It will be flat and straight. But we want to keep it round. Uh, I'm going to put it back into the chuck and from here we're going to sand the axle. I'm going to start with 400, go to 800, then 1000. We're going to do it wet and uh, we'll have a nice smooth axle that's ready for graphite once we're done with that. Uh, I'm going to start it up. It's going to turn at about 3000 RPMs. I'm going to wet the sandpaper and start sanding up and down right against the axle head and the shaft and then I'm going to move it back and forth so that I don't just stand in one spot and leave a groove or a dent 
or an unevenness. And so we go back and forth, up and down. Uh, and after a little while, you'll feel when it gets slicker than it was before. You'll hear that it's not grinding as much with the grit. Uh, I then at the end roll the uh, paper over the outer edge of that nail head so that I can smooth it just in case it touches the wheel. It's got a smooth surface. <coughs> we don't want any undue friction on that axle head. Uh, wet it a little more. You just wet it as you need it. What the water does is remove any of the metal shavings away from it and any grit that's come off of the, the paper. Uh, I'm going to wet it a little more. And then I'm going to use a lint-free cloth. This one is a artificial chamois so that I can buff off any water and any grit and metal particles that are still on there so that we don't connect, contaminate from one grit to the other. Uh, I'm then going to continue doing this wet the paper and now we're on to 800 grit. So this 800 grit we're going to keep running back and forth up and down. We're going to get the inside of the axle head along the shaft and back and forth and it'll start getting shinier and smoother and more acceptance of graphite when we do lube it. You do want to go all the way to a thousand. If you cut it short of a thousand, you'll be robbing yourself of any speed that you could have achieved with this axle. And basically what I'm using to put this water on is a turkey baster and I got a little basin below it to catch the water. And once I'm done with that grit, I will buff it off with my clean, or not so clean, uh, towel. But you want to have it so that it's not full of dirt, you know. It's a little used, but it's not covered in grime. Um, it's just the metal particles that we've been doing on the axle. Now we're going to move to the thousand grit paper and the same thing, up and down, back and forth, up and down, back and forth. Up against the nail head, make sure you keep it square so you don't put any grooves or any odd tapers on it. And you're just going to keep wetting it with this water to remove any of the grit and the grime. And just like the other grits, you'll start feeling when that grit has taken effect and is smooth and it doesn't seem to be getting any more stuff off. And you'll be able to see it in the water and right above where the sandpaper meets the axle. You'll see grit forming. I'm going to final buff it with this. By buff it, I just mean cleaning it off uh, from any debris and dust and grime and water that was on it. And we will shut it off and remove it. And as you can see, it's nice, shiny. Uh, it has no burrs on it anymore. It is definitely ready to be put on a car to race. Uh, this will give you an excellent amount of speed. And you say, why a thousand? I, I've read you go to this grit, two thousand, three thousand, twelve thousand. People sell fifty thousand grit. Uh, we've done extensive tests of the different grits, and we've done axles with every single one of those grits, and we've tested it using the same vehicle and wheels and the best grit for the most speed is a thousand grit. Any lower you lose speed, any higher 
it decreases it. In fact, it even can decrease it if you go high enough with graphite that it will be just as bad as using the wheels out of the box without prepping them or the axles. Uh, but using this technique, you should get great speed. And uh, we thank you for watching.